What's up coding fans? Today we are coding a soccer game. So let's take a look at how this runs. All right, here's our two goals. I've got team expert versus team bite. Take the ball, we kick it downfield, catch up to it, turn the ball, try and get this pass going. Intercepted by the goalie, thrown out to this guy on the crossing route. And here comes the goalie, it misses, we kick, and there we go. All right, so happy day for all of us. Let's go ahead and run through this to see how much fun we can have. So we gotta get our source code for this. Um, as you can see uh, from here, I'll kind of go through it. Um, here's the code for our front goal. Um, and I've got it spaced. I could have used uh, an array of coordinates here, but for ease of copying and pasting from YouTube, um, I've got world.place here. The back goal, copy and pasting, just changing it to 11, like we did the uprights on the football stadium. I've got my expert team and I've initialized and placed each of them so that I can move every person on there. Here's my bite team. Here's the ball, which is a gym. And then here is the play, getting the ball. So every time you see here, this is how the ball moves. Place ball at three, five, two, five, one, five, stuff like that. All right. Um, and so we just kind of go through coding line by line. So let's go ahead and get our source code. Uh, I am going to go reset page here. And then if you're watching on YouTube, you can copy and paste from the uh, description below. If you're in my Canvas class, we're gonna go to Canvas uh, and we're gonna get our soccer. So we're here. We want let all coordinates. We've got our front goal. Come here. we can copy and then we're gonna paste it in here and run it just to see what our source code is um, and there are a lot of extra spaces when you copy and paste in uh, so you can get rid of those extra lines of code so I give you team uh, expert and we got to put in team uh, bite so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off with our goalie um, select and we get this so I need both my let e goalie and my place e goalie and e goalie is just for expert goalie because we'll have two goalies uh, we'll have two lefts two right stuff like that so placing that here um, I want to change e goalie to b goalie All right, and he's going to be of type, or excuse me, he's going to be a character, parentheses, name, colon, space, dot, B-Y-T-E. All right, and then we're going to place our B goalie. And I'm going to place my B goalie here at 610. 6. 10. All right, and he, in this one, all of my experts are facing north, which means I'm going to want my goalie to face south. Um, so we can type that in or just hit south. All right, and I'm going to copy and paste this one so that I have to change less. So copy, and I'll paste another one. All right, and so on this side, I'm gonna have my right one be here at two seven. So this is gonna be called, um, we'll say bite R-I-G-H-T. So the right player, which is dot bite, and so we'll go B right, facing south. I'm gonna have him at two seven. So column two. Row seven. And we're gonna say B middle. I'm gonna have him stand at six, seven. B middle. 
we're going to place B middle at 6, 7. And then we should be able to place our B left. So bite left or B, capital L E F T. Um, and we'll place B left. And I'll place B left uh, maybe right here at 9, 7. Okay, I'm gonna initialize the ball. Um, so I'm just gonna copy, or I'm just gonna keep pasting and just change things. So paste, we want the ball, so B-A-L-L, -L, and we're gonna make the ball a gym as the directions say. So capital G-E-M with parentheses beside it, and we're going to place ball, and I'm gonna give it to the experts first. So at five, six, five, six. All right, let's go ahead and run this and we should be pretty well set up. All right, cool. So here are my people. Um, and from here, you just kind of make it what you want to make it. Um, I had my, this character, or this um, expert move out to here. He passed all the way across to there. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like so that we can see. Uh, and then from there, you can kind of do whatever you want and play around with it. So I have my middle uh, expert. So that's E middle. And I have my middle person turn left. E middle dot turn left. And then I have the ball move with him to four five. So I'm gonna select world.place ball, copy, paste. So he's gonna turn left, he's gonna go to four five. Four five. I'm gonna have my E left, my expert on the left, turn left, move to, and then turn around. So We've got E left dot turn left. E left dot move to. Move distance to. And then turn around. So I'm going to say turn left, turn left. Copy, paste, and paste. All right, and then I'm gonna have the ball, I'm gonna have my expert kick the ball and it's gonna go from four, five to four, six, four, seven, and four, nope, excuse me, four, five to three, five, two, five, and one, five. Okay, so, E middle dot, and I like arg for it, which will kind of make it look like he's doing something. He obviously won't kick it. Uh, but then we're going to just paste our ball. Copy. So paste the ball. So it was, it's at 4-5. I want it to go 3-5. Turn 2-5. Return 1-5. Let's go ahead and run this so that you can kind of see what's going on. And then from there, you can just take it to wherever you want to take it. And there we have it. All right, so if you're in my class, keep coding. I want a decent soccer play. Um, like I said, with mine, um, I'll show you one more time. Maybe I'll try and do a little announcing. All right, expert turns to the left. He kicks down the left sideline. Left expert kicks down, chases it, turns right. We got the right expert trying to make a move on the goal. We've got the cross. Oh no, it's intercepted by the goalie. Kicks it out to the right. The right guy has a move on the left. Kicks it in and bam. 
All right, one neat thing that I've got, you'll notice that my gym is over here kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, and that's just kind of creative planning if you really think about it. So if this is row zero, all right, and it's right here. So if we're at five zero, believe it or not, this is five negative one. So the ball ends up at five negative one which is how I kind of get it over here. I bet you didn't know that you could place things way, way outside of the map. You just have to place it one by one. All right, can't wait to see what y'all make. Really had fun doing this. Love you, bye.